Epsilon, and welcome back to Telltale's The Walking Dead, final season. Alright, this is episode 2, Suffer the Children. Let's go. Previously on The Walking Dead, AJ and I had been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. The leader of a community living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home. A real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. When AJ distracted him, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. I found Marlin and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen. And I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlin traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlin stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Lewis backed me up. With everyone against him, the fight went out of Marlin. I told him he could stay, but he couldn't be our leader. But then... Marlin was dead. And AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. To always aim for the head. Alright, so yeah, that's how that one ended. Marlin kinda dead. made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. Oh, thanks. <sighs> I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlin? I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? Uh, um. No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. You promised Marlin. You said you'd help him fix things. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Lewis called me a murderer. But, but we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlin was bad. He killed Brody. He he kept telling lies. What he did was wrong. Lewis was right. Sometimes people do bad things, like Marlin did. 
When you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. Sorry to be blunt about it, but it's the truth. He wouldn't do that. No, he wouldn't do that. He'd never hurt any of you. It was Marlin threatened us. AJ pointed the gun first. Get it, no, boys. Just no. back off. No, he didn't. Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? What? No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and I know what happens to monsters. Nothing good. You're not Major, a monster. You're not a monster. They think made I a mistake. am. I wish they didn't. We're going to fix this, you and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? It means make up for what you did wrong. We'll make it all right with the others. <laughs> For God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck, and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? <clears throat> Screw both of you. Well, aim a knife at me, dick. Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. You murdered um, your friend Lee, didn't you? What? No, no, You said no. he was handcuffed. He wasn't a threat. So, but, that means you murdered him. But, uh, I ended his suffering. I killed him because I loved him. I didn't want him to suffer. How? He'd be dead. He would have turned. I didn't want that for him. He deserved better. I love you, Clem. I love you back. Hey, hey Ten. Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have the more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night. Like a firefighter. No. Firefighters are good. I'm a murderer. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. They decide that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Er, worked before. Back then, there were all kinds of rules about who was innocent, who was guilty. We, we have, have to, to make decide new things rules. for ourselves now. We can't rely on other people to make the rules for us. Who decided you're a murderer? Clem. But no, she's right. I didn't. So I mean, everyone else. yes, but no. I think you're okay. You sure you don't want your firefighter? You should keep him, cause you're good like him. But maybe we could play with him later, together. Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. The vial started soon. See you out there. This is gonna be hard. Everyone's going to be upset. We need to show them we care, okay? Okay. 
I meant to say Lewis. Um. <sighs> Almost dead. They'll live if we water them. No, they still die. Once you bring them inside, they only get a few days. Oh. I meant to say Lewis was over the line, but I kind of said the one for circle. <laughs> Time to go. Soon. Okay, I think that's everything. Ready? Yeah, I know, Telltale, you don't have to remind me. I did. I did that. Come on. God, they're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin... Just leave them alone. Shit. Clem? What? Why do people have funerals? Tim said they used to have them. They tried remember to ones. remember people we loved. They loved Marlin. Yeah, they did. That made them all sad. Like if someone took you away. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals, too. Even monsters. Everyone gets Even one. monsters. Ten. You ready? Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach. So, I drew it for you. Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody. I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, don't. Seriously, Lewis. He was your best friend. He wasn't perfect, but he deserved better than to get gunned down by that kid. AJ killed him like it was nothing. AJ You're made right, a mistake. Mitch. Marlin didn't deserve what AJ did to him. I know what I did. I'm sorry. I know I'm a murderer, but I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, atone. Fuck, I can't listen to this. What I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Sophie disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. She's got a point. Shut up! It wasn't Marlin's fault. Well, AJ never was happened so wrong. Before. AJ shouldn't have killed Marlin. Yeah, he wasn't hurting anybody when I killed him. See what I mean? 
How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. Take a vote. Majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. You're go bullshit. On, them. I don't want to leave. But if you all decide we should, we'll go. Clem. You heard her, kid. A vote's the only way to settle this, or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Louis needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. Please don't kick us out. Come on, let's go. AJ, stop. You'll break your toe or something. Come here, sit down. No! It didn't work. I did what you said, and they didn't even care. I know that I was bad, but, but they don't let me fix it. AJ, breathe. Remember what we do when we're mad? Come on. You don't want to be loud, do you? What do we do when we're mad? We stop and think and, um... I'm still really, really mad. I know that I'm not supposed to get mad. Or sad. Okay to be upset. And you have every reason to be upset. We'll deal with it together, okay? Okay. We stop. We think, and we breathe. Breathe. Feel better? You're still mad, huh? And, uh... I think I'm sad, too. I did what you told me to. I know. You're a good listener. I wanted to make them all feel better. It didn't work. Why'd you tell me to do that if it didn't work? I don't give up yet. We don't yet. know that it didn't work. They might have voted for us to stay. I don't know. They seem pretty mad. 
Violet was on our side. Maybe she'll persuade the others. Yeah, maybe. I don't want to go. <sighs> I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed, the food. I like the other kids. Not all of them, but Tin and Lewis and Violet. We took the vote. You have to leave. Don't we get to vote? I vote that we stay. That's not how it works. Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. Good, because I don't. I'll learn to live with it. I get it. We'll learn to live with your decision somehow. Seriously? That's it? You know this is fucking wrong, and you're not gonna fight it at all? What's the point? You've already decided. Yes, we have. So fucking stupid. You said you'd go along with it, if we voted fairly. It's bullshit. And you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Oh, I'm burying my head in the sand? Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ is in dangerous too. We'll wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I'll escort you out past the safe zone. We'll make sure you get to the road safely. It's not a lot, but at least you won't die. appreciate it. Thanks for making sure that we... No, don't thank them! It's, it's their fault we gotta leave. They're gonna get rid of us. Get him under control. AJ, breathe. Where's Tim? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. It's best to leave him alone when he's like this. For the record, he wanted you to stay. Wait. Does AJ still have that gun? Hand it over. Is this necessary? It's yours, AJ. You should keep it. But I murdered Marlin with it. Yeah, but you'll need protection outside. Fine. Let the kid keep the murder weapon. <laughs> Will we get another car? Probably not. We got lucky before. So we're walking. My shoes are gonna break. Well, we'll have to hope they hold out. My feet are gonna bleed again. We'll tear up a shirt and tie them up if we have to. It's not so bad. I mean, you've done this before. Probably pretty good at it by now. Almost like going home for you guys. Don't pretend, pretend you care. Pretend you give a shit.
We're here. The road's that way. Anything you want to say before we go? I've said plenty. Thanks for trying to keep us. You're welcome. I wish you could stay. I didn't want this. Come on, let's just go. Give us a minute. I'm sure I'm you? Fucked up. Yeah, so do I. I wish we hadn't fucked it up. You didn't. Marlon did. Even dead, he's still ruining shit. Jesus, Violet. Give him some fucking peace. Just stay safe. Both of you. Still got that gun? Just try to be more careful with it, okay? I will. Let's get going. The sun will set soon. How do you know? I don't know. I can just feel it. How? There's this cold that settles on my skin. It happens right before a storm, too. I don't feel that. Hm. You haven't been on the road as long as me. Clem? Hmm? Will we be okay? I thought we were done running from all the bad people. We'll yeah, find some place new. Some place better. I'll try not to mess it up. you on the road how long do you think you can hide oh, shit that's the man from the train station yes I thought he died you can survive a bite if you cut it off fast enough Ugh. stay here boy any closer your friend might get her head blown off Abel good to see you again squirt uh, don't I seen these ones before fighters both of them you'll like them we're looking for a kid runs a community near here Marlon <sighs> he's dead Shit. This can still work. How about it? You want to take us back to your school? Help us talk to your friends? It's not like you have many other options. I don't live there. It's not my school. I don't live there. I find that very hard to believe. Not a lot of kid communes around here. Ah, don't! Ah! Let him go! Please! Sure. If you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. You ever seen old fruit explode after you throw it at something? That's just how it'll look. Clementine! Oh my god. Clementine, it's you? I... My name is Lily. You probably don't remember, remember me. You. Really? I thought you died. I came close. The hell? Not now. 
fuck is this? <sighs> Lee isn't with you. So he's dead then. I'll never forget him leaving me on the side of the road to die. I don't blame him. I was clearly a threat to the group after I shot that girl. Carly. Lee should have left you behind, too. Might have lived longer if he did. Same thing will happen to you if you repeat his mistakes. Your little boy there, you'll die protecting him. You may be able to keep this up a while longer, but eventually he he'll himself. slow you down. I don't think so. AJ knows how to handle himself. He's got spirit, I'll give you that. But you and I know that won't be enough. Fuck, we don't have time for all... We've got history. Great. You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. We can help you raise that boy, Clementine. But we need you to do something for us. <laughs> what? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of you. We'll take you back to the Delta to join our people. We have walls, we have working solar panels, and we grow our own food. All we need from you is to go back to your friends and convince them to come peacefully. No one will be harmed. I'm not Marlin. Here's what I'll do. I'll take the little squirt here right now. That way, I'm sure you'll play nice. Be smart about this, Clementine. It's an us or them kind of world, Clem. If you want to save your little one, you won't pick them. Run!
didn't give me the option to stun the other one. In that moment. That's what I would have done. Now we got a walker person helping us. to be loud it's okay AJ just breathe put your hands there stop the bleeding it's okay AJ he's just gonna patch you up it's enough for now oh, easy easy where's our stuff my gun we lost it buddy and Violet ran. They're safe. Yeah, probably. It sucks.
I didn't mean to endanger you. The walkers were sent to help you. You sent the walkers? Was part of a group. Call themselves Whisperers. They've learned to live in herds, among walkers. Move among them. Sometimes guide them. Why are you alone, if you were part of a group? They attacked a community. Saw the carnage. Didn't want to be part of it. Oh, does it hurt? Hungry. Eat. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have a name? Been a while. Since. I've said it. James. Why did you help us, James? The people who attacked you. What do you know about them? It's still they children. Still kids. They took two last year. A common practice for them. They're at war up north. Their entire community against another. It's why they take people, to make them fight, train them, use them. You would join their war. That's horrible. Yes, that's why I helped you. Thank you. Clem? Throw it. Distract him. Works just as well, and nobody gets hurt. Not us. Not him. Thank you. difficult to send the herd in to save you I didn't want them to die so James do you just hang around in the woods saving random people after I left my group I wandered First time alone, ever. Saw war everywhere. First against walkers, then against each other. Hoped it would be better here. Where are you from? Here? Georgia, originally. Georgia. Long way from home. It feels like forever ago. It was. So, where are you from? Washington. The city or the state? The city. Dad ran a food truck. I helped. You've got a fever. His wound will need proper cleaning and medicine, if you're lucky enough to have any. The school has medicine, but I don't think they'll share it. That's why those people attacked you, isn't it? To get to that school. They'll destroy whatever they find. Bring more guns, more fighters. Take everyone inside. 
They won't be able to fight them off. You need medicine. You have to go back, or you'll lose him. <sighs> All right. I'll go back. Convince them to help AJ. They'll take us back once they see him. They wouldn't turn AJ away. You hope? I'll help you get back. Past the walkers. A few more hours and we'll go. That's a few hours for you to sleep. <sighs> I'll stay awake. You don't have to. Sleep. I'll keep watching. Such a good idea. <sighs> okay, I will. And what about you? Don't need it. Not tonight. Rest well. Good night. Good night. Is he awake? Yeah, he's so hot. I can carry him. You're exhausted. No, I've got him. there. Not ready. Okay. Fair enough. I can't keep carrying you. We'll be inside soon. Rest now. Shit. Is he... Uh... He's alive. He was shot. He's got a fever. Come on, let's get him inside. I can't. Okay, buddy. I got you. You're kind of squeezing the area where you got shot, though. I don't think that really helps. Let me see. Upstairs, come on. We got the shrapnel out of him. We? It's a long story. He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. 
You come with me. We can talk in the office. Clem, shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem! AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. Come on. What do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand... We don't let it take over. We don't let it take over. I'm good now. Clementine, please. We need to talk. What happened out in the woods? I saw they had you pinned and I... Shit, I got so crazy. When I heard you call for help, I didn't even think. I wanted to help you, but when you told us to run, I had to trust you. Thank you for protecting us. It was really brave. I really thought you were dead, Clem. It's just good everything is so fucked right now, you know? It's really good to see you again. It's good to see you too. Just wish Mitch and the others felt the same. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you. Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're not like with her group. I barely I remember. I recognized her if she hadn't recognized me first. We were in a group together. Long time ago. Hope it was a different kind of group that didn't fucking steal people. Come on. You know it was different. She murdered someone in our group, gunned them down during an argument. Carly was her name. She refused to let Lily push her around. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But? There's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. He saved me and AJ. Let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. Running into those um, two in the woods, it proved we him. can't trust anybody. I mean, you don't have to worry about James. We can trust him. Willie said he was wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something. He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. <sighs> wow. Okay. I wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child-snatching assholes showed up. And then you two come back after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet, AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry and they're looking for someone to blame. Fair enough. I mean, they kicked you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three I'll against. convince them myself. You don't have to. Let me convince them. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turned them into soldiers? Yeah. It'll happen to us, too, if we don't stop them. And he didn't even like killing walkers. Look at this place. It's a fortress. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah, I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. Here, let me show you. The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. 
We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it, so we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. We've got good, strong walls. We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. Okay. This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. Well, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. <laughs> Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. I'll go. Are you sure? It's gonna be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Willie told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Shh, would you keep it down? The little boy is asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch, those raiders are getting ready to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's they shot neck, AJ. you'd know that. Use your head, Mitch. You saw AJ on your way in. If I was with the Raiders, why would they have hurt him like that? How do I know? Maybe he shot one of their friends. Mitch! Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? Since no one else stepped the fuck up. These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. See you there. I guess I didn't realize how long it's been, how much it's changed. Ah, uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day, or you gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. too many in these parts, but they were more common where I grew up. I used to hunt them with my old man when I was little. They make terrible noises when they die. I like it. It'll look good on my wall. Are you okay? It's been so long since I was here. I used to love this place, but it's so overgrown. I'll be fine. Let's just find a way in. All right. What are you doing over here?
I can't see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. Shut up. What do you want? Uh, nothing. You're only here because we're desperate, you know, so don't get comfy. If we survive these raiders, you and I are gonna have words. Let's survive first. That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. That's an ugly thing to say. I says we need help, right? She shouldn't mind sticking her neck out. I'll go first. I don't mind. Figured you'd fight it. Thanks, Clem. Holler if one grabs you. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you get the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens. Not bad. Oh, look. Wild ginger. Eastern prickly pear, Jerusalem artichoke. False Solomon seal. Let's find that barbed wire and anything else that might be useful. Dibs. Okay, Dick. Could be a weapon. We we'll use it to dig a grave. We weren't there when we dug the holes for Marlin and Brody. We had to use cups and bowls. Took forever. Some mushrooms are edible. Wire. A lot of it, too. That should keep the raiders from climbing our walls. Hey, we can use these. For what? We can make bombs out of these. Bombs? Oh, Are sick. you serious? Totally. 
It's the kind of stuff I made back home. He used to blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. Guilty. I just need some propane and something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. What? Fertilizer? Find something? Yep, maybe useful. You seem happy. You can only eat the same bland rabbit stew so many times before you go crazy. These herbs are gonna do wonders for morale. You wait and see. Okay, fair enough. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Did you find anything? What do you think? Okay, just asking. You know, the barbed wire idea is smart, I'll give you that. Those assholes try and climb our walls, they'll tear their guts out. I kinda like to see that. I'm not eating the mushroom. <laughs> Remember right, there's a science lab through that door. Maybe there's propane in there. Come on, help me move this thing. <laughs> okay, let's see what's inside. Scare, that's all. No. What? Who was she? Miss Martin. My nurse at the school. She stayed when all the others left. God. She looks... I can barely recognize her. She's not your friend. She's just food now. fertilizer. Helping the plants grow. Should have figured you wouldn't get it. Or care. My bad. Not what I meant. That was my own personal thoughts. I didn't mean to say that out loud. Are you okay? Yeah. Just need a minute. Come on, guys. Help me find that propane and we can get out of here. Dare you to drink it? Not in a million nope. years. When? Yeah, I'm gonna drink something from a beaker. That sounds smart. Uh, Mitch, is this useful? Fucking A. I was hoping there'd be one of those. That's an igniter. We can use it to create a spark. Now we just have there. to find propane. We can blast those motherfuckers to hell. You find anything? I actually, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Why would you smell it? Ms. Martin meant a lot to you, huh? 
She was the only one who stayed. She saw us for what we were. A bunch of kids who no one wanted. She loved us when nobody else did. Like, really loved us. Yeah, I've known people like that. I guess everyone has. There, then make sure I'm not missing anything. You seem to know a lot about bombs. I made my first one when I was eight. Really? I blew up the garage. It was awesome. Though, Dad didn't think it was awesome. Dad gave me a chemistry set to keep me from fighting the neighbors. Uh, why would you fight the neighbors? I had a lot of energy. I had to use it somehow. And they didn't like my face. Fair enough, I guess. Alright. Let's get this propane mm, tank. Let's hope there's gas in it. Yeah, perfect. Here. Good, fine. Now we have everything we need. We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Barrier? Why bother? It's a walker. Help me drag it out back. We can burn it. No. Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial. Here. Next to the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's been dead for years. There's no point. I'll help you bury her. It's the right thing to do. For someone you cared about. Thank you so much. It's not a her. It's a walker. Fine. Whatever. I'm not wasting my energy on that thing. I'll put a stone in the graveyard. Back at the school. But Ms. Martin loved this place. She'll be happy here. I'll make sure everyone knows you helped me. That you've got a... a good heart. Under all that muck. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Think it'll be all enough? Right. Hopefully. And it means Lily and her people won't be able to climb the walls. They'll have to come through the gates. We can plan for that. Straight into a fiery explosion of death, assholes won't know what hit them. Brought you these. I noticed his shirt got messed up when, you know. Where did you get those? They were tens back when he got here. Should be about AJ's size. How's he doing? Better. His fever's down. Thank you for carrying him in. No problem. So we've got a greenhouse again. And bombs. Mitch's idea. I figured. Violet says we'll start getting this place ready in the morning. Good. They all seem okay with letting you stay. For now, anyway. While we get ready to fight. Yeah, I'm glad. glad. All I've wanted is for them to forgive us. I said they're fine with you being here, at least till the raiders are gone. That doesn't mean they all like you again. Everyone else is okay with us staying. What about you? It's fine. Well, he gets better. And after that? I don't know, Clementine. Clem? 
Hey, kiddo. How do you feel? Better. Still hurts. I know. Hi, Louis. Hey, little dude. I missed you. Are we friends again? Just get some sleep, okay? Louis? I'm sorry, sorry hurt you. that you're hurting, and uh, it's our fault. It wasn't all you. Marlin, he... Forget it. I should go. I'm not mad at him anymore. Are you? He helped carry me, and he was by my bunk when Ruby gave me stuff. AJ, I was never I was mad. never mad at him. I understand why he acted that way. Why he wanted us gone. <sighs> me too. Let's get a look at the shirts Lewis brought you. Then we'll sleep. It's been a long day. Yeah. James was nice, but I don't like sleeping on the ground. Me neither. All right. That's a weird plant. It's a fungus. A fungus? Doesn't look fun. Pretty cool. That plant looks scary. Oh, it is. It's a fly trap. It eats bugs. A plant can eat bugs? Yep. <laughs> That's so, so awesome. This one's pretty cool. Mm, looks like Marlin's jacket. Oh, yeah. But it would still look good on you. How about this one? Looks like Tin's boots. Oh, yeah. I think it's the same character. Cool. Hey, look! It's Disco Broccoli and his friend. <sighs> I wish you could have seen this cartoon. Me too. Hmm, this one will work. You can put it on when you feel better, okay? Yeah. Time for sleep. I can't sleep with the light. I'll blow it out in a second. Science Dog is pretty great. Yeah, Tim likes him. Hmm. Strange to think this used to be a regular school. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if it tries... <sighs> bang.
two weeks later. Having a nightmare. Same one you used to have all the time. About what happened at the ranch. I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. Hey, and what do you have there? Did you have a bad dream too? You've been having them a lot lately. I feel safer like this, not sleeping. I want to stay up forever. I probably could. Like 18 days, if I tried hard. You're safe here. We're safe here, AJ. It doesn't feel like it. You used to think so. Ah! Here, let me help you back to bed. No. You don't have to keep checking on me. You always say, be tough. So I am. You say, be strong. And I will. All the time. Strong, I not raised stupid. you to be strong, not stupid. I'm not. Shutting people out when they're trying to help you? That's stupid. Please, don't call me stupid. I'm sorry you had to do all the hard work. To atone me. I'm gonna help you more, so you don't have to do everything. Where are you going? On patrol. Patrol? For danger. Bad people. Monsters. Whatever you I have nightmares about. Me. What if you stayed here instead? If you go back to sleep, I'll stay awake and make sure no more bad dreams come. You can't do that. You're not magic. <laughs> How do you know? Maybe I have magic and never told you. <laughs> no, you don't. Hmm. 
What is it? Can I... Could I maybe sleep in your bed? Like I did when I was little? Yeah. Come on up. I I'm not scared. Just tired. Makes sense to me. <laughs> Think you need that? AJ? What? You're still little. Yeah, I know. You ready to work today, kiddo? Bad dreams always make me more tired. Me too. I slept better in your bed. It's my turn to be lookout. I have other stuff I need to do. It's stuff. Nothing. It's just... It's important. God damn it, Lewis. Take this seriously for once in your life. I've been taking this seriously for fucking days. Almost two weeks. So has everyone. Get over yourself. Hey, I thought Lily and Abel would show up days ago. I wonder why they're holding off. Don't know. All I wanted was more time to prepare, but now this waiting sucks and everyone's on edge. Need my help? Yeah, actually. Could you check on everyone and make sure they're doing shit right? Sure, I'm on it. Thanks, Clem. I should go board up the back hallway, since Lewis isn't gonna do it. Alright. Pretty clear message. Hmm. Place looks ready for a war. we can use. I wonder if they ever tried to rebuild it after it burned down. Ms. Martin, thanks for protecting everyone. I hope it's beautiful where you are, Brody. Good girl. Oh, what did Marlon used to do? <laughs> I'm not gonna spit on the grave. It's a little bit much. What are you doing? Test. Gotta see if the bomb will go off. This little thing won't kill anybody. Just gotta see if it'll light. Yeah, it better. Our whole plan rests on that little thing. If they get in, I'll need you to set the bomb off while I distract them. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, something like that. I, I read that on one of those stupid inspirational posters. <sighs> School used to have them everywhere. As soon as things went to shit, I tore them all down. Could you? Uh, my hands all fucked up from messing with it all day. Stand back. 
Fucking shit. If it doesn't work. Fucking shit. I'm sure you'll get it. Keep trying. It's not like I got all the time in the world to play scientist and figure this shit out. I'll figure it out. I just need more time. Alone time to think. I get it. I'll leave you alone. Thanks though. For helping. No problem. No, oh, no, I should in two to one parts. Maybe well, with the double it didn't. Uh Mitch? Dirt would catch if the propane was soaked. Oh no, stupid. Do you think Sophie and Minnie might be with them when they get here? I don't know. Maybe. I'm doing watch, Clem, for danger. Like patrol? No, Clem. Lookout's totally different than patrol. How so? You don't walk. Oh, right. to that. Hopefully this at least creeps the raiders out. Hopefully it does. Um All right, Lewis. How how you doing? Shit. What's going on? In a few weeks or days or hours, the raiders will be here. Burn down our place and steal or kill us. And then it won't matter how much I sucked at this. The raiders aren't going to burn anything or steal anybody. We'll stop it. You sound like Marlin. I mean, not about fighting, but when he was trying to cheer us all up. For years, I sat around making stupid jokes, playing stupid games, while my best friend was left with all the responsibility, all the tough calls, all the sleepless nights, and eventually, a bullet in the head. And I didn't do a damn thing about it. And then when you tried to tell us what he was really like, and AJ shot him. I blamed you. Both of you. If I could take it back, I would. I knew that the day you got back. AJ you were right to blame us. I didn't stop it. He was my best friend. Almost like my brother, but the things he did, they were fucked up. I'll never be glad he died. But I understand why AJ thought it was the right thing to do. So do I. But we still fucked up. Here. You take it. Are you sure? I mean, it's Marlin's. Yeah, it was. And he used it to defend the school before... before he stopped. Go ahead. Try it. Okay. In that direction, please. <laughs> of course. And just so you know, I'm totally laughing out loud when you miss. Good thing I'm not gonna miss. Piss you off while I'm standing at a moderate distance with a big red circle painted on my chest. 
You want to come back and practice more? Just let me know. Okay? Sounds good. And Clem, thank you. For all of it. Violet went to board up the hallway, didn't she? Yep. I would have done it later. I just wanted to do this first. It's okay. She needed something to keep herself busy. Well then, glad to help. Go ahead and practice if you want. It's all ready for you. Yeah, I think I'm good. Back hallway's secure. How is everyone? Okay, or, you know, well, they're honestly, trying. it's not perfect, but they're trying. They're doing everything they can. Trying isn't going to stop them from getting kidnapped. Trying isn't going to stop these raiders from burning down our fucking home. Jesus, Clem, they stopped giving out participation trophies when walkers started eating people. Because you're boring and your idea is stupid. Oh, I'm being stupid? You're the one who can't think straight. If you could hear yourself... Guys, what the fuck? Violet told us to work on the traps together, but a sim won't listen to anything I say. That doesn't mean you have to scream at each other. Stay out of this. I have an idea for duffel bags filled with bricks. We drop them on the raiders if they get to the admin building. Willie here wants to use a giant idiotic swinging log to take out one raider at most. It's completely stupid. You're stupid! You're being childish! A sim is right. We should use his brick trap. It sounds more practical. Mine's practical, too! No, it isn't! It's exactly the kind of thing a child would think of. Especially a child who has no idea what he's up against. Ow. What the shit? Dude, you okay? Yeah, fine. Shit! Christ. We'll all kill each other before the raiders even get a fucking chance. Right, what we need is something to break the tension. Hey, buddy, how's it hanging? Dude, fuck off. Sulking <laughs> in the corner isn't gonna help us fight off the raiders. Or turn that frown upside down. You get more annoying every day. Regardless, I've come up with a plan to make everybody feel better. And that plan is a game. Come on, we gotta play. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, we haven't played a game in weeks since that night with Marlin. I mean, if you want to go ask Ruby to come play, I don't mind waiting. Shut up, dude! I swear to God. You've got a crush on <laughs> Ruby? What do we play? Truth or Dare. You don't use cards in Truth or Dare. You do in this version. Everyone draws. Highest card gets to ask, lowest card has to answer. Okay. Sounds good to me. Oh. Um. <laughs> this should be good. Let's see. Truth. Mary, fuck, kill. Bye. Fine. Oh, wow. Mary, flip, kill. Ruby, a sim, or James, that guy who saved you. <sighs> oh my god. You gotta answer. Them's the rules. Shit. Let's see. I would marry. James. James. He sounds mysterious. Funny. You pronounce horrifying differently than I do. Didn't you say he wore skin? Like, human skin? Whatever makes you happy, Clem. I would, um, flip. Flip, 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 flip. Flip, flip, flip. flip. Ruby. Ruby. <laughs> well, sorry. I was just imagining her glare while Clem propositions her. What? You sure that's a good idea? 
What's wrong with you? She picked. Ruby gets a flip. So that means you're killing... This is amazing. A sim! Oh, thank God. What? <laughs> You'd rather die than marry your flip clip. I, uh, no. I didn't mean it like that. This is great. We're laughing, we're bonding. It's a nice break from thinking about homicidal assholes sneaking into our homes to kidnap us. Not if you bring it up. On to round two. I win. And poor Sim loses. Definitely a dare. Uh, okay. Do your worst. Huh. Ask Ruby you have for to a kiss. ask Ruby for a kiss. Seriously? The most legitimate of dares. Well, shit. He's gonna get smacked. I can't breathe. Well, I think we all learned something about our good friend Asim today. Mainly that he has no romantic charm whatsoever. Shut. Up. Look sharp, y'all. It's time for round three. Ah. I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Sim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, Clem. Anyone here you like like? Um. Seriously? Like like? What are you, six? Seven. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I've definitely got feelings for someone. Oh, oh who is it? <laughs> nope, not telling. A uh, Sam, you've got the high card. And the loser is Tennessee. What's something you've never told anyone because you were afraid they'd make fun of you? You got this. I, um, I, I think, I think walkers won't always be around. They'll go away someday, because the world goes in cycles, right? Ice Age, Stone Age, um, some other ages. So it's like that. This age will end, and another one will start. An age without walkers, like it used to be. It'll be better. Why is everyone looking at me like that? That's... really beautiful. I never thought of it that way. What's wrong, AJ? I... I just don't know what it's like. All of you do, but I don't. I don't remember a time before monsters. You know what, little dude? It's okay that you don't. Believe me, the world before this one was pretty shitty. And that feels like a good place to call it. We should finish up our work anyway. It's getting dark. All right. Look out. Yep. Clementine's got it after me. Can I come? Well, of course you can, little guy. <sighs> hey. Hey. You maybe want to help me with the brick trap? Yeah, I got some ideas. Cool. I'm sure they'll help. Sorry I punched you. It's okay. It's a pretty good punch. I'm headed to the bell tower. I want to check out our defenses on the back wall before bed. Do you need help? Sure, if you want. You could always help me instead. I am on piano duty. What? I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. I've got a project I want to try, but I need a second person. Um, I will go with Violet.
So, I'm checking the walls? Yep, from up there. That's the best view. You ready for a climb? Yep. Looks a little dangerous. <laughs> What's more dangerous than walkers? Or that death trap you called a car? Okay, fair. Come on, you're not chicken, right? <laughs> no. I'm not thinking about chicken nuggets. Do you remember those? Not really. I do. I always got them on Sundays. There was no time for Grandma to cook between church and Bible studies, so fast food. Damn, I'd give an eyeball for a chicken nugget right now. Alright, we're halfway there. Well, I guess we're more than halfway there. Barbed wire, traps, weapons. It's everything we planned. You made it happen. We couldn't have done it without you. You've got lookout duty tonight, right? Yep, me yep. and AJ. Do you have time to hang out first? Uh, sure. Probably. Beautiful. Sometimes I need the quiet just to get away for a while. Clem. Yeah? I know you came back for medicine, for AJ, but after that you could have just left. Avoided all the bullshit with the raiders. Why didn't you? Sorry, I know that puts you on the spot. You don't have to answer. We've all got our reasons. Um... Why would I go anywhere else if you're here? Yeah, we'll go with this path. I was debating it, but... Because I've done it every other time. Well, one other time. Do you know any constellations? Nope. You? I learned some in school, but... Can't remember them. Let's make some up. Come over here. You can sit down at that floor and your death. If I remember right, everyone's born under a special sign, right? It determines your personality. That's astrology, not astronomy. Whatever, let's just make up our own. Rules, signs, what it says about you. And it's not like anyone remembers the old way. Okay, let's do it. There! See? It's a fish. Okay. Right. Now it needs a personality. Right. Pretty. Good with other people. Always moving. Tons of energy. Sounds like anyone we know. The energy one is easy. Good with people. Not so much. Um. That's AJ. Yeah. Wherever I look, there he is. Taking up all my attention. And I love him for it. He's getting better around other people. You're doing good with him. Next up. I spy with my eye a knife. See it? Mm, right there. Right above your head. Yeah, they're all above my head. This one's easy. Smart, clean, vicious, dependable. Someone you want with you in a fight. 
doesn't take crap from anyone, gets shit done. Sounds just like you. Uh, I like that one. Yeah. Okay, one more time. I found a bird. Like a real bird? No, a star bird. Right there. A bird yeah. is free. It could go anywhere it wanted to. Up and up and up and never come back. Go south, east, west, doesn't matter. You could fly straight into a sunset. It's all, all of us. us. Everyone here wishes they could fly away from all of this. Maybe we'll learn to fly together someday. Sorry, I didn't mean to just talk so much. It's just, I've watched people leave before. Family, friends, they never come back. But you did, and now I can't imagine what it would be like if you weren't here. Um... Shit. It sounds so much dumber when I say it out loud. I think, I mean, I hope. More than friends, and I want <laughs> holy shit. Oh, that's romantic. I mean, holy shit. Time for your lookout shift. Ready? Yeah. Hope that happened. I I was kind of at first thinking of going with the Lewis route, seeing what that's like, because I've never seen it, but the Violet route is just perfect, I don't know why. The Raiders. That guy. He's gonna be with him. Abel. Yeah. Your bad dreams. They're all about him, aren't they? Yeah. Can I swear yet? I think it's time I can. No. no. Come on, kiddo. Quit asking. Because I would swear about his stupid face. <sighs> Try thinking about something else. Count the monsters you see. Same number as before. Three... Four. AJ, it's okay if Abel frightens you. You know how to control that. There's ten monsters out there. He doesn't frighten me. But when he comes here, I call dibs. I'm the one that kills him. Oh. AJ, I don't like the way you're talking. Killing is never easy or fun or to be treated so casually. Is it because I'm trying to be good because of Marlin? It's just because you should never think about killing like that. There's 12 of them now. It's more of a, like, an instant type thing. what if we play rock, thing? paper, scissors? If I win, God. you change your mind, and I get dibs on Abel. I can take him, Clem. Sure. Mm. Yeah, okay. 
Really? Best two out of three, sucker. And no take backs. <laughs> no take backs. Sucker. Get ready. One. Two. Rock. Crap. Again. One. Two. Paper. Ah. Scissors one. Yep. Again. One. Two. Scissors. Tie. Go again. Again. One. Two. He's gonna pick paper. Rock. Nope. Okay. Crap. I win. So no more about dibs, okay? Okay. Clem, I see something. Not a walker? Here, you look too. On a walker. Good job, AJ. Come on, we have to tell the others. They finally show up? Yeah. Stay safe, okay? You too. We're ready. They've got at least four more people all carrying guns and carts, probably to carry people away. No. Assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time to set up the bomb. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. If they manage to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Exactly. Right into our traps. They're in for a rude fucking support. Those duffel bags will break bones. Easy. So, uh, any final words of wisdom? Um, We've faced them in one, after all. Well, sort of. Look no out for each what other. Happens, ah, oh, shit, shit, fuck! Shit! Fuck! Shit! Fuck. shit. Hide! Now! Damn. Omar! I got it! AJ, hide! I'll be all right. I don't have much time. Go. All right. chance. Where's our new recruits? 
They're not yours! Search the yard. If Clementine moves, shoot her. We'll find them, Clementine, and then we'll take them. And you. And your little- Take me! Take me and leave. You want soldiers? Fine. Take me with you. But leave everyone else. You'd do that? You'd come with me if I let the others go? Yes. You've changed. I grew up. I can see that. God, you are just like him. Lee would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. That the sweet little girl he protected he turned proud. out like this. You're right, Lily. I am just like him. And if he saw me now, he'd be proud of who I am. Why? Because you almost gave up just now? Handed yourself over to save your friends? Right. I'm sure that made all his sacrifices worth it. Get out! If you won't help me find the others, I'll find someone who will. We recruited from this school before. Minnie wanted to come along tonight to tell you how well she's adjusted to her life, how happy she is. She said she had a girlfriend back here. Friends she missed. One guy who could always make her laugh no matter what. And her little brother. She missed him the most. Shit. Where are they? Let me take you to them. I can't. I just want them back. Please. <laughs> no! Oh god. God damn it. Mitch? Mitch! No! Kill who you have to. Take the rest.
I'm fine with that. Easy. We were family you won't once. Kill me. I know you won't. Why? You're like family once. You won't hurt family. You're not family to them. Get off of me.
रखा है Sorry for trusting her. <laughs> they took them, Sim and Omar, and God damn it, Lewis. I know. We're going after them. We knew where to look. I'd smash down their walls myself. But we don't. Well, we've got someone who does. Episode 2. You and 64% of players told AJ to keep his gun. You and 50% of players told Lewis and Violet to run from Lily and Abel. You and 93% of players spared the walker honoring James' request. You and 57% of players spent time stargazing with Violet. You and 53% of players rescued Violet instead of Lewis. Okay. You and 30% of players left James feeling trusted. James felt helpful when you let him feed AJ the apple. James was attentive when you said you're originally from Georgia. Abel captured. Abel was aggravated when you warned Violet and Lewis to run in the forest. Abel was startled when you told Lily to take you and leave the others. You and 56% of players left Lily feeling unconvinced. Lily was gratified that you remembered her. Lily felt bitter when you refused her help to stand. You and 69% of players left AJ feeling repentant. AJ was soothed after sleeping in your bed. He was resigned after you didn't give him dibs on killing a Abel. You and 90% of players left Ruby feeling grateful. Ruby was distraught when AJ took responsibility for killing Marlon. Ruby was horrified when you described her former nurse as fertilizer. That means that. You and 85% of players allowed Lewis to be kidnapped. Lewis was comforted when you said you were sorry you and AJ hurt him. Lewis felt discouraged when you chose to spend time with Violet instead of him. Lewis felt discarded when you let the Lip Raiders take him. You and 41% of the players left 10 feeling ashamed. 10 was thoughtful when you said people need to make new rules. 10 felt hopeful after sharing his belief that the Walker Age will summon him someday. 
about Violet feeling vengeful. Violet was relieved when you and AJ returned to the school. Violet was exhilarated when you professed your feelings for her. Um, Mitch was surprised when you admitted AJ was wrong to kill Marlon. Mitch was irritated when you decided to help Rudy bury the walker. Omar was kidnapped. Rosie was loyal to you after you pet her in the great courtyard. Lily was annoyed you didn't choose his trap to defend against the walkers. Sim was kidnapped. And I collected all of the items. Okay, well, that was episode two. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and when we come back, we'll play episode three. Alright, later guys. Peace.